Hey guys, today I'm going to do Fear Go Fish Noob to Pro on this, this map. So what you want to start with first is, instead of this, which is the first one, or you might be like, well it's the only one, because it's the only free one out of all of these. Weebos is also free, and I think this is where you'll get the furthest for your first run. So if you go down here first, it's pretty risky. Because there's a chance that a moray or a shark will eat you. A moray eel, which can go down there, or a snake or shark that will be right there. They're right behind me. Find as many crabs as possible to begin with. The sink's ability is really strong, so you need to use it to its advantage against crabs, even though it may, you may need to. It looks like you're gonna have to fear it, but you don't need to. You can maybe even start by eating stingrays. As you can see, I'm already demolishing this thing. It's already dead. Because the people says it's probably one of the strongest um, free things of all time. Because it's like the old, one of the very few free things. But it's actually very OP. So you already have around 10 coins by now. Don't go near dolphin because they travel in packs. Stay with stingrays for a while, whenever you can find them. I'll try and fight them. They won't. They don't ever put up a fight. I turned off my unlimited sprint for this video to make it more realistic, so so you can have like the real experience. So if you can't really find any stingrays, go back to crabs. Stingrays normally venture out over this way. Did my game just crash? My game crashed. Oh my gosh. So by now you should. Oh, now I have to wait for it to open again. So now you should be able to. Um, have like 10 coins. I don't know what you can get with 10 coins, but I don't think it's anything special. So let's say you died as the Beagles and you have like 10 coins. Oh my. It won't focus on feed, feed and grow fish. Oh, there it is. Okay, you gotta have the Barracuda. Barracuda is very good for... Don't get hit by any Beagles if you do, you will um, die. A very risky way to go as being a Barracuda is go to where... Over here? Um... And you want to go after parrotfish because this thing has a very good amount of damage, and you can you can defeat a parrotfish very easily as one of these. But this thing's devour size is not the greatest, so you kind of have to spend a while trying to eat that. But if you look at your coins, you'll see that quickly you'll get a ton of coins. You can defeat these a lot easier. Like I'm already at the 15 coin, like nearly 15 coins. Wait, I need something to level up. I'll just take this. fight these in my videos. I don't really acknowledge them. Ooh, that's a goliath fish. Stay away from goliath fish if you're any small fish. It's kind of a no-brainer, but you know. It may be after me right now, which is a little worrisome. But 
I go on hard all the time when recording, so. Oh, a Goliath fish is after me. Oh, it's a hammerhead. I'm like, oh, this thing's like, it does a ton of damage, but doesn't, doesn't that take you? Let's say you died like that, and now you could be uh, a shark. I I want to say a for, for Goliath fish, since it's actually there. But right now, you're a hammerhead shark. Let's say you got enough to be a hammerhead shark. So once you're at this stage, um, I don't really. I think you should start with parrot fish, but I'm starting with this. Oh, parrotfish, parrotfish. This thing has a sufficient amount of stamina compared to the barracuda. So... But it ain't that fast as compared to the barracuda. So, eat the parrotfish. You just gotta look for all the parrotfish. It only takes two hits, apparently, at the beginning. Or if it's a bigger one. Yeah. But it should only take two when you're at level two. Yeah, okay. Can't swallow this heat yet. I'm pretty sure that's like at level three. Where will the parrotfish go? Barracudas are not worthwhile. Okay. Once you catch a parrotfish, it's a goner for sure. Hey. Okay, whatever. And now you should be able to defeat these with ease if you can catch them. <laughs> these are really easy to defeat now. And then you can swallow that hole once you're at level 3. Alright, 40 coins. I'm able to use a goliath fish, but try and stay as a blaster for as long as you can. Because this thing's very powerful. I'm gonna try and risk this. Only because I kinda already want to become a goliath fish. Oh, I defeated it. What? Wait, what? Actually, what the heck? Uh, that's a surprise. I was able to get it from the sides. Started attacking it. So I guess it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, Goliath fish, stay away from me. I'm too strong. And then the Great White Shark appears right behind. Me. Great War Shark is always the biggest challenge. If you're a goliath fish, you can't really do much damage. You can only devour things, but once you get to the very late levels, you're able to deal some pretty good damage against the Great White. Got it. Okay. Dolphins are actually really good XP grinds, but if you're too weak for them, then you really cannot do anything about it. Because most of the time they'll travel in like, like three or two. 
You're you're really lucky if you're able to find a solo dog. I have 95 coins. Is that enough for Yeah, okay. So you probably don't have the great white shark at the time of this. So let's say you don't have the great white shark and it's just like, "Oh no, I need to get the great white shark." Um follow this and then get until the tiger shark. And if you die early as a tiger shark without getting enough food, then there's nothing you can do. I think it's a very powerful shark, which is why it's ranked as the second highest beast in this, or fish in this particular part, uh, or particular area of the game. You can already start by defeating any type of shark, other than, obviously, the great white shark. See, I can already destroy these. But be careful for your sea urchins, because they will deal a lot of damage to you. They do percent instead of, like, actual damage. And free good. Oh, go straight to me now. Cool. Hey, no. Nope, nope. nope. I'm trying to shield my food. Get back here. Great War Shark is also very fast, so if you find one, you are probably very done for. If you go like really quickly like I have, and you're already like level 4 or 5-ish, then you probably already have a lot of coins. Mako sharks are not worth your time, so if you ever find one, it's, it's not worth it. Don't eat it. It's near me. I think. Maybe it was just a dolphin. Get back here. I'm already level 6, uh, I'm gonna risk to find the great white shark. Never do this, I'm just an ex a very experienced player with th over 300, oh, nearly 400 hours, so. I know- oh, there it is. This thing does well over 100 damage during its initial fight. Not well over. That's only like a hundred ish. Did it just get stabbed? There's no way. I think it just got stabbed. Oh, yep, see, it's already dead. Oh, no, it's just a swordfish. But it's very risky eating it around where I am because the great white shark actually spawns near here, so. Alright, we're good. So yeah, that's pretty much a noob to pro tutorial. Uh, if you find it again, you can destroy it. Most likely. You still have a pretty good chance of losing. But not as nearly as a good chance of losing as you did when you first fought it, so... So now you destroy the Great White Shark. And if he appears behind you, then you might be screwed. Oh my gosh. It is one strong foe, so be careful if you ever try to defeat it. You may want to try and grind a bit more levels than I did when I defeated it. Oh, see, see, look at how much damage it's doing.
I can, can still have a chance to defeat a pretty good one at that. But I can also defeat it in one bite in all the shakes. So. Yep, that's a renewed to Pro Tutorial. Um, like and sub. Uh, or you don't get a cookie. Okay, goodbye.